First things first, if you guys love Razor's Edge Radio, be sure to check us out on YouTube, obviously, but also check us out on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, a quick shout out to all my YouTube fans for giving me 32,000 total views on YouTube. We're still trying to get at least 100 subscribers, at least by Christmas. Um, If not... Hey, it's still a goal, so, but anywho, enough screwing around, we're going to be playing, or I'm going to be telling you, in my opinion, which Slipknot album had the best songs on that, on a specific album, and we're also, I'm going to be debunking them as the best songs that they had, so best hits album are not going to count, however... It could work. It could not, uh, depending what songs that were on that uh, on that. Uh, I was gonna say vinyl, but either on that vinyl that you listen to, or even a CD. Starting off with Slipknot, the original one from I believe it was ninety nine or ninety five. This album wasn't too bad, due to because it is their first album. It's not that there is. Um, this was. You know, all of their stuff in one go. This album did not have that many bad hits on it. Sick was awesome. Eyeless, Wait and Bleed, Surfacing, Spit It Out, um, Me Inside, Liberate, No Life, Scissors, and Eeyore were the best ones on that album, in my opinion. Don't count me towards, you know, I'm just bashing them. In my opinion, it's going to be best albums so that is competitor one i believe we're gonna come to all hope is gone right now this album wasn't too bad um geomantria was good but i felt that song could have been better sulfur is good psychosocial dead memories vendetta gehenna um snuff child of burning time vermilion Part 2, Until We Die, were good. So another good album. But I know this is going to take a lot of time to do. So let's take it down to the last three albums that they did. So we're counting Iowa, The Great Chapter, and All Out Life. Now, it is going to be very hard because I love all of these albums wholeheartedly. But debunking all of them is going to be hard because you have to go and you know debunk everything so between Iowa now we're going to cut the two down now we're going to come down to Slipknot Iowa and Slipknot's The Great Chapter which was volume 5 I'm cutting out All Out Life due to the fact that it's not the same as it was back when they started out in 99 and 2000s. So we're going to cut that one out because, yes, they were some good songs, but most of them weren't actual songs. Some of them are like interludes. So I'm not going to count that album now. Iowa and The Great Chapter are probably going to be the two hardest choices due to the fact that both of them were very, very well-written albums. And I love these two albums however both of them all have songs that i like on both of these albums however yes there is at least two at least i think there's at least two songs i didn't like on the gray chapter which was the bonus tracks which was override and the burden so the hardest choice that I'm going to have to make here is probably Iowa. Due to the fact that, yeah, it's their heaviest album. Great Chapter was right along with it, but I'm just going to have to go with Iowa. That's my final choice. If you guys think it's a wrong choice, if you guys think it was the Great Chapter, be sure to put a comment in the comment section below and see what you think is the best Slipknot album. Um, I'm not bashing Slipknot in any shape or form. Big shout out too to my new Instagram followers. Be sure to check us out there. 
Um, because the first 10 people that follow the page will get a shout out on the next podcast. So shout out to, uh, Jamie Lockridge. Thank you for following, uh, Gabby Dakin and who else followed Rosanna, uh, Sparacino. So that's only the couple people that, uh, followed the page so far, but be sure to follow it because you'll get a shout out on the show. And I'm getting out of breath here, so here's Soundgarden with Black Hole Sun. That was Black Hole Sun with Soundgarden. And you ever get the feeling when you go Black Friday shopping that everyone just wants to start early? Well, this year, Walmart is starting Black Friday on Wednesday the 27th. Sounds weird to me. Anyway, here's My Chemical Romance with Cancer. Turn away If you could get me drink of water cause my lips are chapped and faded call my aunt Marie help her gather all my things and bury me in all my favorite colors my sisters and my brothers still I will not kiss you You know 
Blood, blood, blood. 